I'm uh, disappointed for Luke. Um, you know, you uh, in this job as a coach in the NBA, you are 100% dependent on your circumstances, uh, the strength of your organization, uh, the momentum, uh, the unity. Everything has to be um, in good order because if it's not, um, as we witnessed um, with the Lakers, um, then um, there's going to be there's going to be casualties, and usually the coach is the first one. And so they're losing one of the best human beings in the NBA. Uh, they're losing a guy who knows the game as well as anybody I've ever met. Uh, they're losing somebody who players uh, believe in, players want to play for. But again, it's, he was dependent on circumstances, uh, just like all of us are. And um, I feel for Luke, uh, and I'm, you know, I feel fortunate to have a set of circumstances here where we've got uh, wonderful people uh, stabilizing our organization every day. And I'm lucky to, to be in this position and to be surrounded by those people because it uh, doesn't happen often in the NBA. Do you think there's any chance he might be around here at times in the playoffs? Just oh, I don't know. I have no idea. Here. Yeah, I mean, uh, Bree might be ready to kick him out of the house in a few weeks. So, uh, <laughs> if that happens, maybe he'll come up and hang out. But uh, no, I think you know he's. This has been such a crazy uh, ride for for Luke. So he needs to he needs to get away and um, you know be with his family and um, be just get a vacation and sort through what what he's going to do next. But we all uh, we're big fans of him up here. Needless to say.